Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. We're in the system of Tundaras in the Utri storage of Moon 11. And here we are actually going to hunt some Triglavians. I felt like hunting some Triglavians. There was multiple things I was thinking of doing now in these upcoming weeks. Uh, one of them was doing some low sec stuff and I definitely think I will eventually get into that. Uh, specifically actually what I want to do are the L5 missions. The L5 missions sound like a really fun thing to do in low sec and actually I think it's quite easy or possible to do them especially if you have a lot of isk because like you need to spend a lot for the ships to like get them to invest in them to be able to actually do them properly but i have quite a, amount, a good amount of isk right now so i think it'll be good for that but i'm i've not got a whole lot of a real life time going on right now it'll take a long time for me to get that set up so in the meantime i want to hunt then some triglavins and i found some triglavins here an hour ago in my interceptor and i want to see if there still are triglavins here because we're in the golem the rollum golem with this golem right here it's a very powerful golem. I do this to hunt solar triglavians. Solid ship. Really like it a lot. I'm using high grade crystal implants. It gives me a whopping massive shield boosting per second. You can see here. Shield boost. Really good. And we have this is the thing. There's some things I was thinking of changing with the fit. So we see here three minutes and 52 seconds. The cap is life on here and that's actually quite plenty because we never have to continuously boost here since we've got such a good boosting one thing i was thinking is even just removing this because it goes from 3 minutes 52 to 3 minutes 32 and if we remove this and put a ballistic control system i don't know why it just feels looks nice having these triple ballistic control systems we get quite a bit more dps so i'm not sure maybe i'll do like this i'm not sure if you guys in the comment section below are uh, like experienced with hunting these Triglavian fleets in high sec. Let me know, do you think it's worth I remove the capacitor flux coil and put a third ballistic control system? Or do you think it's better that I just keep a, a flux coil here just in case of neuters? Because I never really have too much trouble with neuters. So I'm thinking that could be a possible change in the future. But I'm just going to go a little bit extra safe here with this right here. Another thing that made me also want to do this golem uh, Triglavian hunting in particular was that I've trained recently some new skills during my exploration run in high sec. It is the salvaging skills. I can actually use Tech 2 salvages finally. <laughs> There's a long time, but these are a lot better than normal salvages in terms of their salvaging capabilities. So I'm putting two of these here. And I also am able to use the Tech 2 salvage drones as well. So not only are we able to use the Tech 2 salvages, but also the Tech 2 salvage drones. So hopefully the salvage process will go very quickly for us here because we're able to have two salvages now. We also have tech 2 salvage drones and the tech 2 salvage drones they are actually quicker than tech 1 salvage drones so they can move around quicker and they also have the ability to just in general uh, salvage like have a more likely uh, bigger likelihood of them salvaging correctly so we're gonna warp here to this trig wormy over here this is why i had a actually we'll warp in maybe a hundred i don't think that'll be a good idea well, I'll put the volume a little bit down because it's a bit loud. I'll put we'll put the D scan on for players. What is going on in the local vicinity right now? It's a bit ugly how I've got my UI right now. Just that there's occasionally a lot of players here. I want to keep an eye on if there's like a lot of players, just in case of like some suspicious people are in system. So we'll do a little bit like this, and we'll go to this wormhole that I scanned. Yeah, you can see that we've got one layer shack over here. Oh, there's he's over there. I wonder if we can get that guy somehow. He'll maybe aggress us if we just chill here. Maybe if we warp to here and then we walk back to the wormhole at 100, then we'll sort of be able to go on top of this guy. We'll see. I think we'll be able to hit them if we are able to do that. I wonder what the max range is if I put the max range torpedoes right here, because we've got some of these javelin torpedoes that give us some pretty decent range. Have I got the javelin torpedoes? No, I haven't actually. But I've got the faction ones. They have better range than the rage. Okay. And then we put the missile range script. And we get 70 kilometers. Okay. 70 kilometers. I don't think we'll be able to land on 70 kilometers along with that guy. But maybe we will. Perhaps we will. Let's see. Okay. Warp now on the 100. Because the thing is, this is the wormhole now with this guarding fleet. If we destroy this guarding fleet, then they'll be spawning more Triglaris in their system. And that'll be optimal for us to get the good fleets. Because if we don't destroy these, then they'll just be like very few fleets. And they'll not usually be that big either. And they'll you know, be less isk in that way. So it's very nice to be able to have these good big fleets for us to take. Put this passive module here just to have it there. 
got two C-type medium multi-spectrums, a Pit X extra large shield booster, giving us the big, big, big shield boosting. Oh, we see that? We went right past that guy. Oh, look, we landed right on top of him. Oh, almost right on top of him. Let's see now if we can lock this thing up, maybe. Move towards this. We can lock it up, maybe. Put a missile range. Kaldari Navy. Oh, look, he's actually attacking us. Okay, that's good. Now probably I'll get closer at least. So we're going to have to slowly, slowly. We could even just actually add a location here. And perhaps even, if this is going too slow, because he's not that fast, this Slash Shark. We could warp to the sun and warp back to the wormhole at 100. Then it should be perfect in range. So let's do that. We'll put the Nova Rage and Missile Precision. Because we just warp back to this location I saved here uh, at 100. Then it should be right on top of that Slash Shark. It's a little bit good there. Tactical, tactical usage of bookmarks. <laughs> I feel very superior in terms of tactics here. <laughs> okay, we'll warp here now. Warp within 100. I'm curious to what kind of fleets we'll be seeing if there's anything spicy. Uh, there's actually Triglavians that the more than just that wormhole there. You can see there's quite a few Triglavians, but it'll hopefully be a little bit better after we destroy that. Uh, that hospital over here and I think even it could be the case now this is I'm not 100% sure but I think it could even be the case that you don't even have to kill all of them here you just need to uh, like bait out the last wave because that was a lot of Leshaks I'd never really see that many Leshaks here in non-disturbed Triglavian systems like usually that's the case when it has been disturbed and it looks like here that someone has already destroyed all these and that they have actually already startled the wormhole so it's just a case of uh, going around actually and wrecking these guys i'll just take these out real quick this should be very easy we can even get the salvages ready to tract in this loot we'll use the uh, the small tractor beam what we're going to do here is consume some boosters as well give us a little bit of extra shield boosting capabilities now that we're going to actually go here and hunt these guys okay good last volley pop we can stop with the bastion lock up this and pull this in with our tractor beam that is boosted by a big degree we can put our salvages as well now we can try to look for the triglavian fleets that are in the system doesn't seem like there's anything else here going on put the double salvages here too put the triglavian descan thing on okay what we can do is we can take the five degree and look on the warp to area oh, okay we've got that now anything interesting in here some Triglavian transcontinent data casters. Yep, one million just like that. I'll recall these drones. Okay, so we can just do like this. Really, just scan. Actually, what we can do here is just get an idea of how far they are away first. Okay, now they're gone. The Triglavians have gone from this area right here. So we're gonna have to go to a different location in the system. A warp here. This is planetary body. That's outside our descan range. That's probably most likely where the uh, the Triglavians are existing right now. A lot of people in the system. It makes me a little bit nervous just because of ganks. You know, it's not nice to have a lot of people in the system. But I don't think it's that bad because it is quite close to Jita anyway. The system, so it naturally would have a lot of people anyway in it since a lot of people are in the Jita region. But that salvaging, I would have hoped it to go a bit quicker since I had two salvages plus my fives take two salvage drones on them. It was, however, a big wreck. I'm guessing that big wrecks tend to salvage a bit slower than the uh, small wrecks. Okay, nothing here. Hmm, strange. I would have hoped to have something cooler here. I mean, imagine if there's nothing more now that everything's despawned. That'll be very strange. Just when we just it felt like something happened when we destroyed that lesh right there. It could perhaps be that the exit when you destroy all of them near the wormhole, that all the existing spawns despawn and new ones come in or something. I'm not sure. We'll keep scanning here. Keep scanning, keep scanning. We're pretty slow here in Angolam. It's not fast warp speed. Oh, there we go. There we go. There they are. Okay, let's see if we can get an idea how far they are away. Mm -hmm. No, they're quite close, actually. They're very close. Oh, how far are they away? They're very close here. Oh, they're right on top of us. <laughs> that was a, quite a coincidence right there. Let's see now. Okay. Where is... We warped at 100. I think that could be why this would this happen like this. We can just, you know, like, approach these guys a bit. Then uh, see if they aggro us. Do they aggro? Let's see if we shoot them. 
we'll put the range script on and see if we can just land a volley or two see if that'll get them to wake up because occasionally this is what happens with these triglavian fleets that they are kind of like completely asleep they're hibernating in the initial wave then when you destroy them and you want spawns in there is actually active so hmm. it seems like that this is not too fruitful because we're this far away and there's no no real way to get closer i feel like let's see now Tuntaras is over there maybe we can land a volley here if we go in bastion maybe they're still pretty far away we have to get closer with this golem right here got a mobile depot we could use that to refit to mwd how much did we get from that little trigger lock you know that, that one they shuck we got five million salvage from that one trigger lock that's quite impressive actually okay now they've woken up now they've woken up okay it seems like they are now not completely asleep these guys <laughs> let's see what is our range without bastion if we put this on 47 okay we need to get a little bit closer so we can start shooting this guy we'll keep making our way towards them see if they will decide to get closer i'm most interested in the lair shacks they're pretty far away there's that one diamond vic as well which is a bit annoying but now we're all in range oh there's that one lair shack also is 80 kilometers away let's see if they decide to get closer because there's some of them seem to be getting closer at least because they are definitely are moving very slow they smoke progress this fast because they were initially like 100 kilometers away weren't they so it feels like we've progressed a lot quicker than just 100 meters a second. Hmm. We'll use the target painter as well to increase application too. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. This Damovic soon is in 70 kilometers. Then we have the range for our faction torpedoes to hit properly. Okay, now full aggression is going on. Okay, that's nice. We'll now go for this Damovic over here lock these guys up too mm -hmm. okay we can now boost a little bit activate bastion it's on let's go <laughs> trigger avians let's go deploy the mtu as well helps a ton with the salvage afterwards we can activate this we'll save this take out this one uh damavik over here and then we're going to be going for the layer shucks because that's the most we've got rage okay that's good precision activate this go for the leshax and see a boost right here like, boop, boop. <laughs> we don't, like this is why our capacitor doesn't matter because or well, it doesn't really matter that much that we're cap stable it's because of how like, we have really massive boosts so we don't even need to really use them straight away we just uh just boost a couple of times but we also have to be a little bit wary on our like, tank just so it doesn't fall quick because our buffer is not crazily big i mean we've got a decent buffer but it's still not like amazingly big it's the main thing that we have a really good active tank so we can just like boost this up like look at one cycle like that one thing i was thinking of using especially for a golem doing l4 missions is that you could since a lot of people like to gank these uh, mission running people you could actually just go with a sort of like a hybrid tank at least like i do in this gila so you go like in the full large shield extenders field extender two rigs and everything and then put just a simple pythom c type medium shield booster now this medium shield booster will be able to run cap stable with a single cap battery and that's really good because you will have actually a very good active tank still with a medium shield boost on the golem because the golem gets a uh, a bonus to its amount of like active rep on every type of shield booster so you'll be able to like really get a good amount of tank even from a medium shield booster and the main thing is that it's just so cap efficient as well like very little cap is needed so you'll be able to use that all the time and i looked on pufa and without any implants that boost shield boosting capabilities um a single meet c type medium shield booster with two multi-spectrum c types here like we've got here they would actually do uh, almost a little bit over 1000 HP, HP per second tank that would be how much we would get with a single c type medium shield booster and then on top of that we'd have a massive buffer as well like really big buffer like with these large shield extenders field extender two rigs it'll be really good so you would be able to probably survive almost any ganking fleet on top of that you have the big boosting and you could also fight back in bastion then you would actually have a good time at least i think it would be a lot very quite difficult to gank those kind of ships obviously nothing is 
not gankable or invulnerable to ganks, but I feel like it'll be a lot more difficult if you went with like a big buffer fit like that. I was thinking of maybe doing it for this, for this Triglavian hunting, but the issue I have with that is that we still need a lot of tank. The DPS can get very hot and we get a lot more active reps when we actually go with something like this where we have an extra large shield booster. The only thing is that our tank is not as good. So that is this spawn done. Pretty smooth right there. Only one spawn, so not that big, but we'll probably later sometime find some more spawns. And I just want to see here, and I'm quite curious, how good is our salvaging? We can use a Tech 2 Salvages, Tech 2 Salvage drones as well. Oh, that's could be pretty far away. We can have a, one of the drones go for those, actually. Since the drones have increased speed, they're able to travel a bit quicker. They feel a tiny bit quicker, I think. The Tech 1 ones, they go really slow. Uh, we can even use this to track it in with a tractor beam because our tractor beam is actually faster than this tech one or standard mobile tractor unit I've got over here. Hmm. Use our salvage over here. The salvage operation seems to be pretty smooth, actually. You can just... There was not a whole lot of wrecks, but it seems to be still pretty smooth. Okay, we've got some little bit of loot here. Not so much, to be honest. The majority of this tends to come from the salvage you get right here. Turn off Bastion, so no reason to have that one. We can use our little salvages. Like that. There we go, pretty much done now. I'm curious to how much is we got from that small wave because we saw from that single Leshak that we found in the beginning, we actually got 5 million just from him. So we could potentially get like a lot more, I think, from this whole wave if we uh, keep having that luck of salvage for all the ones in the future. We'll see here. Just gonna open up this mobile tractor unit, grab everything here, and grab everything here. Is there anything in this cargo here? Some 33.9 million zero point condoms. Yeah, okay, let's see now. How much did we get from this? 28 million, including that first uh, leg shack we got there. So it's pretty decent. I mean, it hardly took any time at all to get that, to be honest. Uh, this wave and the fact it was just you really to find them in the beginning. I was a bit confused with that whole wormhole situation. We'll dock up here and dump the stuff. Actually, we'll go in Utri storage. I like to be in Utri storage, but we can actually, no, we can go to the Kaldari logistics support. It's so much closer. So there we go. Golem doing a bit of Triglavian hunting right here. I'm probably going to do some more later. I think this is something that I really want to continue to capitalize on with my new salvage skills that make me feel like I'm such a boss of salvaging. I've tried the Noctis, but I like the fact that we're using... Oh, like one ship here just to do everything but obviously it would be very quick if we had something like a Noctis coming afterwards to do all the salvaging and we got some pretty good isk right there in a short amount of time one thing to know also was that we got a lot of isk from that first one i think it has to do because he he was a hospodar leshak because it said hospodar i believe on that first leshak we found at the wormhole and i think hospodars tend to give more loot it's just the way it is. i think they tend to give more loot so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video right here if you did please leave a like and subscribe I'll catch you guys later.